Okay, so I'm kind of doing this video on the fly in my car. Uh, the New York Giants have signed guard Zach Fulton. Fulton started 16 games for the Texans last season. He's been around for a while. 2014, he was drafted by the Chiefs in the sixth round. And uh, if you look at his numbers, it seems like he's a much better run blocker than he is a pass blocker last season. Sports Info Solutions has a stack called Blown Blocks. Uh, essentially, you just uh, you don't block very well, right? You, you the defender is able to kind of get through your block and make a play. I guess that's that's the definition on their website. That basically you just don't block well on that specific play. He had the fourth highest blown blocks when pass blocking, so his pass blocking struggled. He had seven sacks, and I don't think sacks are everything. Because sacks can sometimes be uh, dependent on the quarterback. What happens in the play if the quarterback holds it for five seconds and you give up a sack? I mean, is that really a reflection on the offensive line playing poorly or the quarterback holding on to it? But anyway, fourth highest blown blocks among guards last season. So I would say his ability to pass block is probably not uh, not his forte. I also saw Pro Football Focus apparently had him at a fairly high pass blocking grade. Um, so there's that. That's why Pro Football Focus can be a little bit subjective and why I'm not a huge fan of their grades. But I try and give you guys as much information as possible so you can make your own decision. I think that's that's the, uh, that's the part about trying to be as unbiased as possible. So fourth highest among guards in blown blocks, but the seventh fewest among guards. And this is among, uh, this is 100 snaps, at least 100 snaps played. Uh, seventh fewest among guards in run block blown blocks run blocking blown blocks so uh yeah there's that so it seems like he did a nice job as a run blocker and struggled as a pass blocker according to the statistics and i try and really i think especially with the offensive line play i try and find uh you, you try and find statistics especially like run block win rate or pass block win rate because it's tough to really judge an offensive lineman. It's it's tough to just judge them based, just completely based on sacks or pressures because there, there's many different factors that go along, uh, you know, w with their play. Like I, like I mentioned, with the quarterback holding on to the football, kind of depends on some other factors. But those are the numbers, uh, Those the analytics on Zach Fulton. He, you know, he expects to be kind of a veteran piece that they could potentially start at right guard if Shane Lemieux isn't their guy. Uh, right out the gate, we'll see. We'll see what Shane Lemieux's future holds with the Giants. If they believe he's a real starter, or maybe just kind of a good depth option, we'll see. And maybe they even spend a fairly high pick on an offensive lineman, another offensive lineman, maybe a guard, first two or three rounds. We'll see. Um, but it's a nice veteran to have someone who started many games over the course of his career, and uh, he adds another solid run blocking guard to their roster. Will Hernandez was, I think, second in run block win rate last year among all guards. So Hernandez and Fulton, obviously the Giants, they drafted Saquon Barkley second overall for a reason. They want to run the football. And I know Barkley does many other things as well, but I, I think they definitely want to establish the run, uh, kind of play some old school football. Even Andrew Thomas, he was a top 10 offensive tackle in run block win rate last season. So if you add a player like Fulton, you have Thomas, you have Hernandez, you got some good run blocking offensive linemen for Saquon Barkley. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we you know if this move is, uh, if, if Fulton is a legitimate starting option for the Giants. The draft is obviously going to determine many things for some of these, uh, for some of these offensive linemen, maybe I, I think specifically at guard, but many other players as well. The, the draft, uh, look, the Giants have the 11th overall pick, so they can, they can certainly draft an impact player at guard or any other position uh, that's that's kind of the interesting part about the draft and you may find someone even later than that who can step in and make an impact we saw a couple years ago with Darius Slate in a fifth round pick who stepped in and had a really nice rookie season so yeah you can't discount the draft and what might happen there not like not only for uh, you know the right guard position but somewhere else on the offense or on the defense so that's that. Just wanted to give a quick update. Zach Fulton to the Giants. A nice veteran move. Guy who has, uh, obviously has a strong background in starting games, okay? He started many games over the course of his career. He's been around. The analytics prove that he's, he's, he seems like a solid run blocker. Seems to have struggled in pass protection. Another solid run blocking offensive lineman. 